guys, I know this is a little bit late because April has already started, but I am back again with a book review from the Banging Book Club. During the month of March, we were reading the book Bonk by the author Mary Roach. Out of the three books we've read so far, this one is actually my favorite. Miss my first video in the series, or you just need a little recap about what Banging Book Club actually is. It's a book club created by Hannah Whitten, Lena Norms, and Lucy Moon, and basically they read books about sex each month, which is great. And if you would like to join in, they make a video each month on their channels uh, where they give a book review, and they also make a podcast. And I always leave their links in the description box if you would like to check them out. You can do that if you're interested in joining in and reading the upcoming books for the year. Now on to the book. I've been interested in the author Mary Roach and her writing before. I actually really wanted to read her book Stiff, but I've been debating whether or not to buy it. And then after reading this one, I feel absolutely sure that I want to read Stiff. It's about human cadavers, so I will recommend that to you if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Well, I guess a non-fiction book, so I don't actually think that I will be able to spoil much. Uh, if I mention any fact or something from the book in this video, it's probably not that bad, it's just a little teaser because it's a very factful book. There's new facts on each page about different types of things, so I don't think that I will spoil you anything. Can you spoil a non-fiction book? I don't know. I think that for me, this was a perfect book to start out with when I was reading about like the topic of sex and the human body. I think this was a really interesting read. I mean, I find the topic of sex really interesting, but I'm still not very well read yet, so I felt like this was a perfect start. It introduced you to all these other people who had studied sex and all these other studies that I could get interested in and read about. So this book, Bonk, is actually about the history of sexual study, I would say. She talks about how different people throughout history have studied sex and uh, how they went about it, basically. And also it asks questions like, how have people studied sex in the past? How are people studying sex now? What kind of questions have they asked themselves? when they wanted to study sex. And I feel like this book will give you an answer to some of those questions. It would also introduce you to a lot of inventions and patents and like sexual phenomena that you didn't even know existed. And I think it was like, it gave you a lot of facts that you had no clue about. Like you turn a page and you were like, wow, I did not know that. And then you turn another page and you're like, wow, I did not know that either. And I really liked that feeling. For example, they talk about how Masturbation used to be so taboo that guys would put like things like little tools with metal spikes in them that would like release when they had ejaculations to prevent ejaculation in their sleep. That sounds so ouch! I heard even uttering that sentence. I think what I appreciated the most about Bonk is how it was written. Mary Roach actually manages to make it rather like lighthearted and funny. I chuckled a couple of times and I thought that it was a fun read. I've read a lot of like factual books and it's uh, quite heavy on the science, but I think she managed to make it rather lighthearted rather than uh, other science books that I've read. She also manages to show that, okay, there's a stigma around studying the topic of sex, but it doesn't have to be. Like through her own research and through her own questions and uh, experiments in this book, she manages to show that it's okay to be interested in sex. You don't, you're not a pervert, you're not weird, you don't have to be some kind of creep. It's okay to have an interest in it. It doesn't make you to like, contrary belief doesn't make you a pervert. Uh, although I have one thing to add, just one little comment before we conclude this. Mary starts out the book by excusing herself in her foreword for being cringeworthy and she tells us that she has tried to adapt her writing uh, to be as little cringeworthy as possible. Now while I do understand where she's coming from, uh, like for example the part where she mentions that her stepdaughters might read this and like there's a part in the book where uh, she does an experiment and has sex with her husband and she describes it, I understand that might be a little bit cringeworthy for her daughters. She also mentions like vibrating eggs being something that's cringeworthy. I don't cringe about that. Maybe it's just me being from a different generation and maybe she was just trying to get her readers to relate to her in a different way, but 
uh, I think that we should just stop acting like sex is something to cringe about. Like, I mean, if we start acting like sex is not something to cringe about, then maybe our kids or the upcoming generations will not feel like it's a cringe-worthy thing and we remove the stigma around it. Vibrating eggs could just be a sex toy. It doesn't have to be something that we feel bad about. And in the way that she writes that, she actually somewhat falls into the stigma of researching sex being sort of perverted weird. In fact, the only thing I actually did cringe about was all the horrible things people have done to their genitals. I, I just hurt thinking about it. Now on the note of painful genitals, I will conclude this. My thoughts on the books are very interesting, also funny, great introduction to sex studies, and what was my last point? Sometimes painful. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars on my Goodreads page. You can, uh, if you go down into the description, I will have a link for it there if you want to follow me and become my friend. And I will return back next month or probably this month because it's April already. So I will probably return either at the end of this month or the very, very beginning of next month with uh, a review of the book All the Rage by... I've totally blanked out on the author. I will write it here. Um... That's the book that we're reading for the month of April anyway. I finished it already, I finished it in a day, it was really good, but I will talk to you about it in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, I will see you soon, bye!